Kirby Day. And I'm Ross Nover. And this is Super Art, art Fight. Fight. The greatest live art competition in the known universe. Over the past six years, we've been bringing our unique form of creative combat to stages nationwide. And now we're bringing it to you, the internet. Ross, why don't you explain to him how it works? My pleasure, Marty. As you can see here, we have a giant wall of canvas. Two artists are going to be walking up to this canvas, and they're going to be covering it in artwork. Their starting topic in this case, robots. Every couple minutes, though, we throw a wrench in those gears because we spin the Wheel of Death, which is a random topic generator that gives them new topics. Over here, you can see Gnomes and Rage Face have now made their way onto the canvas. At the end of each match, you, the internet, gets to choose the winner. Yes, indeed, Ross, and the stakes are high in this as it's an eight-person single elimination tournament with the winner getting a shot at the Super Art Fight Championship belt. Now, folks, why don't we take a look at our artists? Thanks, Marty. In today's matchup on one side, we have Baltimore's own Charm City Shinobi, Dan Malahome, taking on one half of Team Sexyfulness, the outrageous fashionista known only as Baron Von Sexyful. Let's take it to the canvas. Today's starting topic is cryptozoology. Now, let's bring out our artists. First, the Charm City Shinobi. And the one and only Baron Von Sexyful. Hello, my Sexyfuls. All right, let's count it down together. Three, Three two, two, one, one. Art Fight! Cryptozoology being drawn by both of our artists on the right-hand side. The Charm City Shinobi himself, Dan Malahome on the left-hand side. Baron Von Sexyful. Yes, indeed. Both of these artists have quite a history in Super Art Fight. We've got the Baron himself, Baron Von Sexyful, tag team champion multiple times Super Art Fight Singles Champion, one of the most infamous competitors of the game, and then in the case of the Charm City Shinobi. He's become a fan favorite in recent memory, and he came from the fans. He started out just an audience member, was one of the one of the participants in our first ever Super Art Fight Idol Invitational Tryout, and now look at him. He's held tag titles, he's traveled the US with us, and uh, he's going big in 2014, folks. So what we got going on the canvas, Ross? Well, it looks like on the left-hand side, Baron Von Sexyful drawing Sasquatch himself, looking surprisingly not blurry on the left-hand side. Well, meanwhile, the Loch Ness Monster being drawn on the right-hand side from the pen of the Churn City Shinobi. The Loch Ness Monster, you can you can see the, the water lines. You know, he's doing a very great job of, of limiting his line work while making uh, his character very apparent. And, and that, that's a key thing, sort of the endurance of drawing these things. You don't want to go too detailed or too heavy. You just want to make enough so someone understands what you're putting out there on the That's canvas. true, but the more details you put in, the less that someone else can take over and turn into something else later, Marty, which is also, as we've seen, a big part of the art fight canvas. Very, very true. And you're seeing a lot of those details. Speaking of details, of I'm sorry, oh. Marty. But oh, we have the that, craziest nipple I've ever seen. That is classic Baron Von Sexyful. From day one, yep, he nipple won over people on the canvas all the time. With his crazed nipples. And speaking of crazy things, the Loch Ness monster now appears to have a rocket launcher attached to his neck, back, whatever it is. Yes, that's right. Now from Mattel, the new. Loch Ness Monster with optional rocket launchers. Oh my goodness. Ages 5 and up appropriate. And it looks like one of the rockets has either hit or just just pierced the bottom of the foot of the Sasquatch. Oh no, here. it is exploding on impact, Marty. We are getting the full play-by-play -play here on the canvas. While meanwhile, the other nipple foot... Oh my god, oh my god. The other nipple from the Sasquatch as jointed and surreal as it is, is now attacking uh, attacking Nessie's face. There's a foot coming off the nip, sir. That's true, and it is hitting Nessie right in the face. And, Does and that now, count? Now whoa. you're seeing them jockey for position. Oh, whoa! And, and a twerk-off! A twerk-off has hit the art fight canvas! The only two people I could possibly imagine getting into a twerk-off is the Charm City Shinobi and Baron Von Sexful, and we've seen it here today. It is recorded for all of history. All of YouTube, or as long as history and YouTube are one and the same. Meanwhile, on Sorry, the canvas, death of the universe. You yeah, experience this Suck one. Suck it. 
Meanwhile, here on the canvas, our nipple knuckles, courtesy of Baron Von Sexy Full punching Nessie in the face. Yeah, and, and uh, the Charm City Shinobi taking Baron Von Sexy Full's, uh, at one time, somewhat presentable Sasquatch and turning them into a pretty lady. Or at least someone who's gotten into... Yep, I, I think we're going feminine here. Oh yeah, we're, we're going, going full on tutu. Does that mean we're allowed to show these nips on the internet? You know what? Are it's, we restricted now? I'm pretty sure if National Geographic can get away with showing apes in their habitat, we can okay. get away with showing okay. a Sasquatch in fishnets. Incredible gams. Incredible gams coming together from the pen of the Charm City Three, Shinobi. And we're two, going to the Wheel of Death! 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 Charm City Shinobi gets, should I see a doctor about this? Baron Von Sexival, flabbergasted. So we have, should I see a doctor about this? Uh, Baron Von Sexful thinking over what he wants to do with it, and flabbergasted. And now the Charm City Shinobi showing, I believe, an exposed bone. I, I think I think he had, should I see a doctor about this, Ross? Yeah. Showing the exposed bone. Uh, super hard fight top tip. I'm hoping those are eyeballs, Marty. Super hard fight top tip for all the kids at home. Uh, if you see bone exit skin, see, see a, a doctor, doctor about, about this. this. Yeah. See a doctor about this. And a flabbergasted monster appearing in the top right Chuck Jones-esque eyeballs popping right out of the That's face. That's right. That is a flabber monster, Marty. Yes. Yes, indeed. From the pen of Baron Von Sexual. Oh, looks like a kitty cat. A little bit. Adorable little kitty cat. I don't know about adorable, Marty, but definitely a kitty cat. So we have rocket launchers, we have monsters, we have nipples akimbo. We've got exposed bone, and now I think we might even get some exposed brain matter. A little bit of brain meats. I think I saw exposed bone on Warp Tour, Marty. <laughs> oh, they were great. They, they, they were spectacular, right? Yep. Yep. That's right. Oh, no, and it's in fact the New Jersey Devil oh, no. on the right-hand side. Well, anytime... Flabbergasted at the whole canvas. Anytime a I true find cryptozoological myself, phenomenon, Marty. Yeah. Anytime I find myself in New Jersey, I'm flabbergasted. So I, I feel... Uh, the rest stops could use some work. Yeah, and, and I'll tell you this. If you're in New Jersey and you want to find out if and when we'll be near you, go to our website, superartfight.com. That's right. All the details and more about when we'll next be driving through Sea Caucus and on to somewhere else. <laughs> Sorry, New Jersey. You're, you're sometimes good to us. Anyway... Baron Von Sexyful just giving it the full on groin thrust yeah. approach. That's when you know he's finished. That or he's sleepy. It's one of the two. He uses groin thrust for just about everything, Marty. It's hard to say. And and you're getting a real good look right now. Both competitors deep, deep focus. We talk about it a lot in these bouts. It's a lot of fun and games, but there's a lot of strategy. There's a lot of involved. putting eyes out, apparently. Yeah, yeah. Eyeballs dropping out. That poor Sasquatch. He started out looking really great from the pen of Baron Von Sexyful. And now Unfortunately, what no longer. Yeah. That Sasquatch has seen better days. And we have the Charm City Shinobi just tearing it apart bit by bit, and art by art. I'm not sure what he's working on right now, but I, I definitely more impact to that Sasquatch. Yeah. While the Baron now adding, adding a, a fine top, top hat. hat. That's Look, right. As always, it's, a, it's an art fight trademark when in doubt throw down some top hats throw down some fancy mustaches it's an art fight trademark it's a raver trademark yeah. it's even a convention trademark oh, already. oh and we are getting the monocle the, the, that's the right class level of this nessie has gone up this is the one percent nessie right here yes yeah yes. this is a full on he's the one who's keeping all the money from all the other nessies yep he is high a, on the hog yep the full-on tycoon of creatures and, oh no! And, and again, the swiveling, the gyrating hips of Baron von Sexful. He is just going his after opponent. his opponent any way he knows how, using his physicality, using it against his opponent. While meanwhile, the Charm City Shinobi just keeping it cool, keeping it calm, a finding a new focus, place to work. Ross, a That's laser right. Laser focus here on the camera. Laser focus. Interestingly enough, how Nessie targets the missiles. Yes. yes. Laser focus. Absolutely agreed. Oh no, and now we have a melting clock appearing on the right hand side of the canvas. A Salvador Dali reference, if ever there was one. Full on timepiece. Wheel of Death! Wheel of Death! Wheel of Death! Wheel of Death! The Charm City Shinobi gets charming snakes. Baron Von Sexifel, it came from the fridge. Okay, Baron, very happy about his topic. 
We'll see how it all comes together here on the canvas in these next few moments. Oh, oh it looks like Baron Von Sexyful taking Drawing the that entire fridge. canvas yep. and having it come from the fridge. Another smart move. When in doubt, when you're starting to feel like maybe you can't take over the canvas, make the canvas your own. We've seen canvases turn in, into dream sequences, dream sequences in, into flying out of the TARDIS. Uh, even even the, the uh, I'm forgetting the word, so I'm going to keep rolling on this. But we've seen entire canvases brought together right here uh, in, in many art fight bouts. And it's, it's very interesting to see uh, how the Baron might pull this together to have one cohesive whole, to own every piece of artwork as his own, and hopefully whenever That's you right. are, you know, your love from the audience. That is, that is quite the charming snake appearing from the pen of the Charm City Shinobi. Charming snake from the Charming Shinobi. That's right. I, I, I don't know if you ever had a real long conversation with Dan. Good dude. Oh, yeah. Good dude. Oh, yeah. Quite the bench. Yeah, full of charm. Ever since he stopped wearing that mask and hiding in the trees. Good guy. Good guy. Fair enough. Meanwhile, on the left-hand side, more food flying out of the fridge, courtesy of Baron Von Sexyful. Oh, oh there oh, it he's is. He's getting serious. The big hat comes down. The tiny, the tiny hat, hat remains. That's right. The he fascinator. He is serious here, folks. And it still matches his pants. Yep. It, it, I'd say even more so. I would agree. Tight pants, tiny hat. It's going to be the Baron Von Sexy Full Biography one of these it's, days. I, if not, it's going to be a signature look for certain. And now the charming snake being turned into Baron Von Sexy Full himself by Baron Von Sexy Full. How Thus proving once again that there is no topic he would rather draw than himself. Now, one of the things that's very interesting, uh, you may have noticed, uh, we provide black and red markers for each one of our competitors. They, they are some of the trademark super art fight art instruments, but every artist is allowed to bring additional implementation to the canvas should they wish, and, and that's how you're seeing these additional colors from Baron Von Sexyful, including what I think was a, a yellow highlighter he just tossed towards that's the right. camera. That's right. For a second there, I thought he was cosplaying his Jubilee, but no, he's in fact drawing his own legs, and they are going akimbo in either direction. Does a mall babe eat chili fries? I do believe so, and the Baron turns the snake into himself. That's right. So now in the bottom middle, we have another charming snake courtesy of the Charm City Shinobi. And I think this one looks a bit more like him. You're seeing the red tie, you're seeing the, the spiky hair. Uh, basically, if he starts throwing ninja stars, I'm pretty sure that's the charming snake shitty yeah, city but, Shinobi. But the real question is, who will win this match? Who will walk away victor? And only time will tell, Marty, because again, you the audience choosing the winner of this bout, on our website, superartfight.com. If you don't know the website by now, don't worry. There'll be links beneath this video, and I'm sure on this video, superartfight.com for all your super art fight needs. It's dot com. Mm -hmm. And what one of the things very interesting, even Baron von Sexyful, for as crazy as he is, mm -hmm. dead focus in the in the heat of competition. If you, yeah, I do believe behind those sunglasses, dead focus. The man's looking like a poker player here. You know, he's trying to keep it cool, he's trying to keep it collective, but the truth is, he is sweating every detail here. Now we have yet another charming snake appearing from the Charm City Shinobi in the bottom. Meanwhile, up top. Oh no! Oh no! He's drawn a sad version of his opponent, the Charm City Shinobi. Why? Why? Jockeying for position. Caps one! Capsule markers, that's an art fight! I believe that is your bout here, ladies and gentlemen. Brandon Chalmers. An epic match. And now you, the internet, will decide. Will it be the Charm City Shinobi or Baron Von Saxophone? 